uh, the the dark saber now. See, check that out. Hey everybody, it's David from Red Wagon Dios. Here's part two of opening up the retro collection Mandalorian figures by Hasbro. These are the 3.75 inch Kenner style retro collection figures. I already opened up uh, Mando and Grogu and Cardoon in a previous video, so check that one out. But today I'm going to open up Moff Gideon, IG-11, Quill, and Grief Karga. Cards on these are, are kind of flimsy cardboard. Right? The one, one request I'd have from Hasbro if they do more of these is to make the card back a little stiffer. Uh, a little thicker card back would be nice. Kind of like they're doing with the uh, with these guys. Here's, for example, this is a retro Marvel Legends 3.75 Captain America. And you can see the, uh, the card stock is a good, I don't know, seems like it's maybe a millimeter thicker or so than the Star Wars ones. And these don't have much give to them. So Hasbro, if you're watching, I'd really like better card backs. A little thicker would be nice. Then they don't get so beat up and, and you know, damaged from uh, when they're on the shelves and stuff. So here we go. I'm going to open up uh, Moff Gideon first. All right. So there he is. Moff Gideon. He's got a little, his little blaster pistol and the dark saber. I, you know, and I looked at the package, I didn't even see the dark saber in there. I didn't realize he had that. So that, that's really cool. See the detail on the hilt there? It's got the three dots. Kind of like the old classic, um, yeah, just like the old classic Kenner lightsabers that Luke had. That's pretty cool. So it's just cast out of a, uh, a light gray pl plastic. The black is just solid black. Let's see what he's got for weapon storage. Does he have a hil holster? No, no holster. So basically, I'm gonna give him, give him the pistol. That is tiny. You can hold that pretty well. Kind of turns to the side. I like those old, like the Kenner figures used to. All right, and dark saber in the right hand. I wonder if it might actually fit better the other way. His grip is a little smaller on the left hand, so I'm going to put the lightsaber in there. The dark saber, excuse me. Give the pistol in his right hand. There we go. So definitely holds it better with the dark saber in the left hand and the pistol in the right hand. Let's take a look at his paint here. Head sculpt. I think it's a decent resemblance, actually. Um, oh, it's kind of yeah, it was kind of tight there on the head rotation. Got a little gray on the mustache, actually. Um the armor, I'm surprised, really nicely painted. Some nice silver bits there on the chest plate and the belt. Some nice little red details. Red down the arms. Everything else is black. And of course the vinyl cape here. Some good flexibility to this actually. It feels a little more flexible than the other one. It's a little bigger than Mando's. Let me uh, get Mando for a sec. So here's Mando, which I opened up last time can see their capes a little bit different. Mando's kind of a dark brown. Moff Gideon definitely black. And Moff's got a much bigger, got a much, much bigger um, kind of hood area there on the cape. Well, that's cool. So you can give blacks, you can give the uh, dark saber to Mando then. All right, so Moff Gideon, very cool figure. I like the paint, I like the cape. Pistol's nicely detailed. Dark Saber is just like one of the classic uh, vintage lightsabers that used to come with Luke or, um, well, yeah, Luke, actually I have a Bespin Luke here. Let me see what he's got. So this is a original vintage Kenner Bespin Luke. And he also has the lightsaber. Look at that. Looks like they copied it almost identically. So there's the, the new dark saber from the retro collection. 
it's almost identical to the original vintage Kenner yellow lightsaber from Bespin Luke. And this guy right here. The hilt is just a little bit kind of curved on the uh, dark saber, a little bit more rounded detail and a kind of an inset to the uh, hilt there where the dots are compared to the uh, yellow Luke one. You can give uh, give Luke the dark saber now, see? Check that out. Uh, pretty fun. All right, well, that's cool. I like that feature. Nice that these figures come with the multiple weapons accessories. I think that's pretty cool. Boy, some of these joints bind up a little bit. And my Bespin Luke here. This was not mine as a kid. I, I bought this from the local shop. But I never had a Bespin Luke, so when I saw him for sale complete, I picked him up. All right, who's next? I'm going to go with Quill. What a great character in the show. We all liked Quill. We're all sad he got killed off at the end of season one. Get rid of that. So Quill is just one little gun here. Okay, here we go. Little Ugnaught. Boy, his, yeah, the joints are kind of bound up here. Okay, break that loose a little bit. I like it. Colors are nice. It's kind of the uh, olive green there and the orange and the browns. Black goggles. White for the uh, facial hair and eyebrows there. Let's see how he holds his gun. Yep, holds it fine. It's funny, I don't remember Quill ever, you know, holding his rifle. I think he had it just slung on his back. Maybe he had a scene or two with him holding it. Would have been cool if they'd given him a sling as well. That would have been a nice feature. Just for fun, I'm going to bring down the, uh, this is the Mission Fleet Quill I have with his Blurg. Kind of cool. I like this little blurry guy. See, the Mission Fleet figures are even smaller than, you know, what he's like. He's tiny. He's like an inch and a half tall. Yeah, see, on the Mission Fleet, they got this nice sling for his rifle. That would have been a nice feature. Let's see how he, if he can ride this blurg. Put his feet under here like this. Almost. Mission Fleet is pretty flexible. In it. There we go. Quill and his Blurg. It actually doesn't look too bad. That's kind of fun. Ah. All right, I'm gonna set him aside over here. All right, who's next? Let's do uh, Grief Karga. I'd say out of any of the characters here, I'm probably least interested in Grief Karga. Maybe it's just as a character. Uh, but, you know, it's a nice looking figure. Nice costume. Oh, wait, is that the same as... Is that the same as Moff Gideon's? And there's Moff Gideon's. And there's uh, Grief Karga's. Similar style with the but uh, a little bigger for grief. Okay, he holds it fine. You see the other hand doesn't have much of a grip there. So facial sculpt, <laughs> not much. I see I, that doesn't really, it doesn't really look like him to me, but I guess, I guess it's a reasonable, reasonable shot at it. Get the gray on the goatee. Nice bright reds for contrast. Look at this guy under his cape here. So he has a holster. Obviously can't use it, but at least he shows it there. Nice little gold belt buckle. Gray, a uh, red tunic with a gray vest. Everything else is the brown, gloves and pants. Again, this vinyl cape is more um, smaller. Yeah, basically the same cape that Mando has. 
but again, black instead of the, the dark brown. So there you go, Grief Karga. And finally, IG-11. This was a fun character. All right, so we got two. Look at his hand, so he's got, yeah, he's got the, he can do the dual wielding weapons here. Let's see how the grip is. Yeah, not bad. All right, so IG-11, arm to the teeth. Got the head rotation there. The vest, yeah, the vest is a is molded into the plastic there. And it's just painted kind of a darker leather, brown, grayish brown, with the silver highlights on the ammo packs there. Boy, the rest of the figure, just a, oh no, there's, there's some highlight paint here. You got some kind of bronzish copper looking color here on the shoulder joints. Nice little detail, I didn't even notice that originally. The legs are a little different than the torso piece, the arms and legs. The shade of brown is slightly different than the torso and the head piece. The torso stands out a little bit. So here is my IG-88 from when I was a kid. I had lost the rifle, but I had to buy an extra rifle to go with him, but here you go. Boy, they're almost identical. They, um, I mean, there's differences, obviously, but the height is exactly the same. Feet to the shoulders. The head on the original IG-88. A um, little smaller in diameter than the IG-11. You see IG-11's got the red dots on some of the... Uh, hold it there. Yeah, some of the uh, eyes and sensors and stuff have the red details. Just like the original Kenner one. Boy, they copied the sculpt of the original Kenner one almost, almost identically, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Huh. Just the, uh, just the uh, sash piece different, but everything else looks like they copied the Kenner. Let's see what the back looks like. Okay, the back's a little different too. You have different detailing here. Yeah, just the torso piece, but the arms, the arms are almost identical. You know, the grips, a little, the, the actual hands are a little different. The legs look the same. Huh. So there you go. If you wanted a, uh, a brown IG unit to go with your original Kenner one, this is the figure for you. All right, so he has a little trouble holding this blaster because his grip opened up. Holds the rifle good. So there you go, guys. Pretty cool figure. I'll take some more pictures of these guys, but then I'm going to put them up on my shelf with my other Kenner figures. I'm not sure how I'm going to mix them all in there yet. I'm kind of running out of space. So, but we'll see how they look. Overall, very happy with these. I think this is fun. Like I said in the other video, I like these retro style figures. I think it's cool that Hasbro's uh, kind of took the creativity with this and made the retro style Mando figures. I could see them doing another wave. I think it'd be fun to keep going with this trend. It's something I like. I enjoy it. So thanks for watching, everybody. On the shelf with my vintage Kenner sand crawler set. Looking pretty good. 
Got one of the uh, vintage Kenner Tuscan Raiders there. My childhood Obi-Wan, 3PO and a Jawa. R5 in the background there. Looking pretty good. Some of my other vintage stuff right there, guys. All right, everybody, thanks for watching.